The Mommy Wines Podcast is a Mommy Wines Network and Emma Don production. Brought to you by Coffee Over Cardio, NakedWines.com, and Zaya Active. Okay, so maybe this summer wasn't the summer my body was bikini ready, but that's not going to discourage me from trying to keep up my motivation and accomplish my health and fitness goals. A few things I love when I'm out there flexing my mom bod are my no lace Puma trainers, a good Whitney Simmons workout routine, go follow her on IG if you're not already, and of course my Zaya Active wear. Zaya Active is a Utah based premium active lifestyle brand, however, without the premium price tag. Though I may be skimping on my portions these days, the people over at Zaya Active are definitely not skimping on their quality. The light and tight leggings are ideal for any mom who's out there moving in a groovin' with sweat wicking, moisture control, breathable, squat proof, anti-odor, and compressive materials. Nothing beats Zaya Active. I feel instantly slimmer when I put on my light and tights, and the best part is they don't budge during my workouts or even busy days. So no tugging or wiggling or pulling them up. Zaya has something for the whole family with the growing and popular men's collection in new kids items. So go get cozy and shop the fall into fitness event at myzaya.com backslash emadon for a chance to win a pair of leggings. If you are interested in signing up to become a Zaya Active rep, either for the 25% discount or as a side hustle, go ahead and email mommywinespodcast at gmail.com. Or you can go ahead and shoot me a message on Instagram at Emma underscore Dawn. Hi, everyone, and welcome back to the Mommy Wines podcast. I am your host, Emma Don, and today I am here with none other than Salt Lake City's brow master and trainer herself, manager at Salt Wax Society, Utah's very own full service waxing salon. That means head to toe, girls. Fierce single mama of three, you can find her in all of her glory on Instagram as B Browse by J. Please help me welcome to the show Jenna. Wow. Yay! <laughs> All, like my ego just grew three sizes. <laughs> I need I need a copy of that for sure. <laughs> oh my gosh! Yes, I'm so excited to have you on the show. I am stoked to be here, honestly. Especially after that, I'm like, wow. All right. Well, okay. <laughs> Feeling myself. Yes. Street credit. <laughs> I'll just follow you around wherever you go. Oh please! <laughs> I need this. <laughs> so actually, you guys, this is our second recording. <laughs> <laughs> and we're going to get right into the sipper spill because you helped me drink this bottle and it was phenomenal. Probably the most amazing red I've ever had from what I remember. From yeah, yeah we well, <laughs> we drank a couple <laughs> that night, which is hence the re-recording. <laughs> but it's this crazy bottle of Zombie Zin. So good. It's okay, I'm normally not a fan of reds, but this red was like out of control. It was so good. Yeah, it was like a like a dry juice. It was like juice. Mm -hmm. Unless we were already too juiced. Maybe it's awful. I mean, <laughs> no, it's not. Well for me is always like a go to. So it's not awful. But yeah. I have like look at this packaging. I know. That's like I, I saw this and I'm like I have to buy this because and you have to keep that bottle. I'm keeping it forever. Every home is like staple Halloween decor now. Yeah, you can find the image on my Instagram, but I am definitely going to sip that again. Do it. Do you give it a sip or a spill? Oh, a sip. Sip? I gave it a chug. Is chug? <laughs> Is chug get an straw, option? Stick a straw in there. <laughs> it was good. <laughs> Who wouldn't love to have delicious, crafted indie wines delivered directly to their door? No joke. I would love that. Sounds like heaven. But just because I can't, thanks Utah, doesn't mean that I'm going to keep this deal from you. Head on over to NakedWines.com and use code MOMMYWINES50 to get your first six bottles for only $34.99. Go, do it. And then rub it in my face on Instagram. 
tag me and Naked Wines and share the bottles that you got in your delivery on Instagram. Mommy Wines, 50, $34.99. Do it. Okay, so we are going to play a game later in the show, but I wanted to hear a little bit about you. So how did you get into waxing? How did that come to be your master profession? Man, it was a total fluke. I was actually working another job. I used to teach aesthetics at a local college. And I kept seeing, because a lot of, like, local salons were, like, posted in the schools so they can get, like, fresh meat to train. Fresh meat. <laughs> um, well, because, you know, when you're, like, in school and you graduate, you're still, like, pumped yeah. to work. So it's it's good for them. But I kept seeing this, and it was, like, now hiring for, like, esthetician and management. And I was, like, huh. Oh. And I was kind of, like, bored with teaching, because you're literally teaching the same curriculum that they wrote in the 80s, like, over and over. <laughs> And so I was kind of like hit my wall there. So I was like, ah. So I turned in my application. And then like 30 seconds later, like the owner, David, like called me. It was like nine o'clock at night. Is this for salt wax? Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. And so I had been like waxing like brows and stuff um, along with like facials and all that stuff. But yeah. And then he called me and it was just, we just like hit it off. And here I am waxing ass day in, day out. (laughs) I love it. Telling people to just... Drop their pants for Jenna. Yep, drop your pants. <laughs> Which, seriously, I've been thinking about it, and, and that could too. be a good podcast. I think so, too. And lots of people have asked me to do something like this, so now I feel like it might just be destiny. You have the personality for it. <laughs> Thanks. I think so, too, and I like talking and hearing my own voice, so. i oh, see, that's what I hate about my podcast is because I edit and produce mine. Mm-hmm. So... That it's just so cringy to me. I wish I could find someone to like edit and produce, and all I do is just record and talk. Would be nice. I get that. So I don't, yeah, I guess going back to the sound of my own voice, like I just kind of like hearing myself ramble. But when I hear myself post recording, I feel like I'm like, it's me, Jenna. <laughs> like, <laughs> have I always sounded this masculine? I don't I don't think you sound masculine at all, but I think it's one of those things where, like, if you leave a message, like, you hear yourself, and yeah. it sounds way different Hate than it. what other people I hear. I remember I was, like, traumatized as a child because I would, like, answer the phone back when landlines existed <laughs> at, like, my house. Way back when in the pioneer days? Yes. <laughs> and I'd be like, hello, and people would be like, hey, Matt, that's my brother. And I would just, like, die inside. <laughs> but... I was a phone sex operator. What? Yeah, for like 32 seconds. Tell me, okay, <laughs> details. Look, there are some dirty folks out there, okay? <laughs> and I thought I could swing it. <laughs> and so I tried, I had like just left like my disgusting ex-husband and I was like, look, like I'm going to give my kids like the best life and I don't have like a stripper body. <laughs> So, but I have like a sultry voice. Ooh. So, you have to, I applied online, and then you have to do like this audition. Like they email you this like script, and I can't remember the name, but I was like Carla. (laughs) And I was going to be talking to like Tom, who was really into like XYZ, right? So, they set up like the call. (laughs) I'm like, sometimes I get like grossed out by myself. (laughs) But I aced that audition, okay? Because they were like, yeah. Like, they cut me off in the middle and they were like, cool. We'll, like, route your number. Give us, like, your hours. And day in and day out, I would get, like, these calls. Are you gagging? <laughs> yes. Because I don't... <laughs> like, in, like, a comedic setting, like, shooting the shit with you, like, I can talk about, like sex anal all the weird things all day right but when you really have to like play that part I realize like how like prude I am (laughs) and I remember one of the calls that I got this guy was like whispering he was like yeah so tell me about this that and whatever and I was like this boy is hiding from someone and all I could think of was like his wife upstairs like taking care of their kids right Oh, and I was no. like, this is not for me because I'm not trying to be that bitch. 
And so You're like a virtual homewrecker. Yeah. So I quit <laughs> because I didn't want to, like, it seems like so innocent in theory. Yeah. But I literally, I'm like so monogamous and I never want to be that person. So I quit. So it was like four days of phone sex operator Jenna. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. Yep, yeah, made a few bucks, and now I have PTSD. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that was a long tangent about voices. No, that's okay. But yeah. <laughs> when I was in Vegas, there were all I was looking for a job. I had just moved to Vegas, and I'm on like I don't know Indeed. I had like a couple tabs open. I was like on Indeed and Craigslist and. On Craigslist, the jobs were very different. Oh, <laughs> it was yeah. like can one job was I'll pay you a thousand dollars to come to my house, let me like tie you to a bed and tickle your feet, and I'm like what? Like forward me that <laughs> thousand bucks, <laughs> tickle my feet. But they're gonna tie you to a bed hmm. and film it, I guess. I mean, let's just pretend to tie me, like, loose binding, right? <laughs> so, like, if you are a murderer, I can quickly escape. <laughs> but a thousand bucks, you know, because you, like, single mom life, I, mm-hmm. man. Yeah. I, my friends and I used to go through, like, the Craigslist <laughs> ads just for, like, shits in, like, high school and stuff. The and shits and giggles? Yeah, and even up until I just, like, deleted them a few years ago, I was still, like, going, like, browse because... God, what, people they de- are crazy. They deleted them? Oh, yeah, because people are getting murdered. Oh, well, that's their fault. <laughs> that's their fault. <laughs> they shouldn't have trusted someone got to tickle their feet. <laughs> right? <laughs> but, yeah, people oh, are weird gosh. on there. Like, I remember one specifically, and he was like, um, I want you to come over and pretend to be my mom so I can, like, bathe you. And I was like, <gasps> what? Whoa. Therapy. People are f- is weird. imperative. Weird. People are so weird. Yeah. And I'm like, who's bathing their mothers? Ever. Like, even know. my mom, when she's, like, old and gray, You're I'm like, you better hope I have home. money or oh. you've got money so I can pay someone to bathe you because <laughs> that's just a line I don't want to cross. I don't even wax my own mom. Really? Yeah, I can wax my sisters. So <clears throat> let's talk about waxing. Yes. And I think we could go ahead and... Get into a little game okay. of fake news. All right. Fake news. She writes all of her own jingles. <laughs> no, I'm going to cut that out. <laughs> Should keep it. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe I'll keep it. Okay, so I am on InStyle.com. Okay. And I have some waxing myths. So you're going to have to tell me <clears throat> if these are real or if they're fake news. Okay. So the first one is waxing makes your hair grow back thicker. Fake news. Fake news? Yeah. It actually thins the hair. Okay. And why is that? Um, because we're damaging that follicle, essentially. Um, so that's why staying consistent in your waxing is key because we keep thinning that hair. Like there's women who've been waxing like since their twenties, they're now like in their fifties, they have like four and a half pubes left. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. It's a dream, honestly. So it's like just laser hair removal. Yeah. And I would argue that the results might be better with waxing. Laser hair removal is quicker. Have you tried that? Like, it- so I'm brown. And it doesn't work as well on me. Because if you see, like, my hair color is the same color as my skin. So the laser is, like, yeah. burn it all. Oh. Just fry it all. Um, but men have better luck with laser hair removal than women because their hormones don't fluctuate like ours. So, like, you could get laser hair removal today and have oh. really good results. But if you have another baby, oh. like, expect it to come back, right? Yeah. Um, so for women, postmenopausal laser hair removal is ideal. <laughs> oh, <laughs> No so log that away. <laughs> okay. The next concern people have is that waxing always hurts. I feel like hurt. It's kind of subjective. Um, there's always going to be. You're going to feel it, right? It's. I use the term spicy. Spicy. 
spicy because like in that moment you're like, ooh, but that's it. It's not like residual. You don't need the weekend off. You know what I mean? You don't need like a Laura tab. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, we're not breaking your legs here. <laughs> it's, it's quick. It's spicy. We're pulling hair out. So be realistic about your expectations for sure. Now, I actually had my very first wax ever by Jenna, of course. Who else would I ever go to in my life? <laughs> Um, you can actually see that on my Instagram highlight because that's, that's still Don't there. Don't walk. <laughs> Spread um, to the highlight. And it wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. Like, I had always heard all of these, like, over-exaggerations, mm -hmm. movies or whatever. Yes. And um, it's not as bad as I thought. It's not. If it was that bad, we wouldn't be in business. Like, if we were literally yeah. out here making people cry... No one would come back. No one would send their friends, you know? <laughs> now, the next one is, this is a concern that a lot of people have. It has a lot of uh, little hearty clicks here. Waxing causes sagging and wrinkles. <laughs> no. So if you get a Brazilian, are you going to get a little saggy down under? <laughs> Some loose lips. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> that would be, we're not like... <laughs> Attaching like weights to your labia <laughs> for like extended periods of time. Any amount. We're not doing that at all. It's so quick. And if anything, so when waxing is done right, the skin is held very taut. So it's not like your skin is like stretching, being pulled all kind of weird ways. So no. So that's <laughs> the fake fakest, news. The fakest news. The fakest news. Okay. So here's two that might go hand in hand. Uh, you can't be intimate with your partner after a wax. So it's not recommended only because once we, so that's real, real news. What's the other one? The other one is you can't wax when you're pregnant. Oh, absolutely. You can, but no. So what I was tr trying to say with being intimate, you just want to watch out for like sweat and bacteria. Just that like first day or so post wax, you're more prone to like those little breakouts. Mm. So that's the only reason. So if you cannot resist going 24 hours <laughs> without knocking boots, just shower right after. Just shower? Okay. Yeah. And then what about getting a wax when you're pregnant? Absolutely, you can. So all the people who are concerned about going into labor with 70s style situations. That's literally why I started waxing. <laughs> because I got pregnant... Couldn't see anything after a few months. Right. Didn't realize how bad it could get. And then my husband at the time, like, was taking, like, pictures, you know, as you do in, like, labor and delivery. And then I looked at them, and it was literally just, like, pubes. <laughs> and so I was like, delete, delete, shred. <laughs> Never again. So, yeah, if you're pregnant and you can't see to shave... And you don't trust your partner to shave you, which... I would not. No, no, no. Your your business is much too precious yeah. to like trust someone else to go at it with a razor or five razors. I also would not... I feel like it, the opposite gender is just not used to it. Like, yeah. I wouldn't go and shave a man's manhood. Scrotum. <laughs> You use it, hold it taut. <laughs> Just stretch that bad boy. <laughs> so here's the question I have. Who do you prefer waxing? Men or women? Um, Because I was unaware of this, but I guess men get Brazilians too. Oh yeah, the good old manzillion or brozillion as some refer to it as. But honestly, I like both. I will say though that... Overall, men are much more of a loyal client base, mm. um, and they tip better overall. So, <laughs> but they are definitely the weaker of the two. <laughs> are like they screamers? Men, yeah, like the men. I really <laughs> have to be like, man, you are doing so well, Carl. <laughs> Carl, this. <laughs> Most men are crying by now. 
<laughs> oh, you gotta, you know, you gotta like, gas up, them up, you know. Feed their egos a yes, little bit. Exactly. They're like, I'm not normally like this. And I'm like, uh huh. <laughs> sure. <laughs> no, but yeah, they, they definitely are. I mean, women, we're meant to like birth life, you know? Yeah, I feel like women have a much higher pain, pain tolerance. tolerance. Yeah. Mm hmm. But yeah, so it's our, I mean, I love waxing everyone, so I couldn't choose. Couldn't choose? Mm -mm. You just love ripping hair out of people? It's so, what's the word? Cathar cathartic? Cathartic? Cathartic. Cath There's not Catharsis. an extra C. Cathar cathartic? Yeah. Cathartic. Yeah. So my ex is a fairly hairy human being. And it's one of the things that he's like super self-conscious about. Mm. Well, I went to Sally's Beauty Supply. Oh, no. <laughs> This is you. This is a common thread. Um, okay. Go, go and on. I bought a wax machine and like <laughs> machine or whatever a warmer pot. pot. Warmer. <laughs> I was like, oh, this is doing the waxing for you. Yeah, I wish. a robot. <laughs> and I bought these little pellets, and I put them in there, and I started waxing his back. Mm -hmm. First of all, I could not stop laughing. I highly enjoyed it. I see. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> However, it was like, I felt so relieved. However, he was bright red, bleeding oh, in some spots. Absolutely. Um, Like, crying. Like, there were little tears. It was, he said it was the most painful experience he's ever oh, had in his life. Oh, man. I've never waxed anything. <laughs> <laughs> and you just felt. I just felt like, I'm I don't know why go people in. need a license for this. <laughs> if you can buy it at Sally's. <laughs> I just went in and I was having the best time. And <laughs> so that's I go into work and I'm like, this is gonna be a good day. This could be a just good day. Just shredding cubes. <laughs> um, but yeah, I under I I totally get that it's cathartic because I was just over the moon. He was in the shower, like <laughs> whimpering. Fetal position. <laughs> I hope it was a cool shower because you shouldn't do hot showers post wax. Mm. Well, that probably screwed him up too because yeah. he takes steamy, steamy, steamy hot showers. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Poor guy. <laughs> but no, it was great. Yeah. And it's so crazy because since I've been doing this podcast, I've been meeting people who are in like the aesthetics, beauty industry. Mm -hmm. And I've never been one for like makeup or hair or I don't know anything about the, the cutting and dying of your face and whatnot. Right. But I am getting so fascinated. I always thought it would be good to have a plan B for finance. If finance one day just doesn't work out. Mm -hmm. I was like, I might go to hair school. I might put fake eyelashes on people or yes. something. Do you I know might, how much money there is to be had? I might, um, I don't know. I might do something that's not weird. You know what I would think would be fascinating? What? Cool sculpting. Yeah. I want to like, I don't know. I just want to do weird shit to weird people. Yeah. Well, then the beauty industry is where you belong <laughs> because it's the weirdest people. <laughs> I mean, like, think about it. Like, like at Salt Wax, we have such a loyal client base. Like, these people are paying, like, regularly because we have our membership. So, like, $39 a month. To take care of their pubes. like That's, in, that's weird if you think about it. It's weird if you think about it. <laughs> but like we're in here and I'm also weird. So I'm like, I get it. Yeah. I get it. But yeah, it's definitely like a very like niche. Like, do you hate your body hair? <laughs> Come I on like in. pulling it out. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's so, match made in heaven. <laughs> uh, the, the place that I work now is different. I've noticed that there's such a more, um, just like casualness mm -hmm. to being out West than it is back in Ohio. And back in Ohio, when I was in finance, it was so buttoned up and tight, you yes. know, like here you go. You, you graduated business school. Here's a giant stick to shove up your ass yep. in a corner office. Mm -hmm. But out here it's so laid back, but it's still like. You might be able to wear jeans, but you still got to 
keep your mouth shut and yeah. not say weird <laughs> shit. And yeah. you know what? Sometimes I just want to live a day where I can just let my freak flag fly. Honestly. Yes. Amen. And I don't know. Maybe this is my straight. freak flag. My, I'm proud of you. My podcast. This is a pretty freaky flag. It's a freaky, and I'm freaky into flag. It. I'm into it. And I support you 300%. But yeah, I get that. Because even like, because I have a very odd personality. And I feel like I'm pretty like extroverted for the most part. But yeah, there are some places like Jenna does not belong. Yeah. Okay? And I could never work like at a bank. Ooh, <laughs> fancy, <laughs> right? Like you won't catch me applying for like Goldman Sachs. Oh, like, I, <laughs> no way. So, yeah, Salt Wax was a good good match for me because they they let my at least keep my fruit frog at like half mass. There you, you know? go. It's nice. Yeah, I don't have I, to totally suppress it. Well, <laughs> you need to start your podcast because then you can just fly it at full <laughs> mass. I do. Salute that shit. I do. Because <laughs> this is like I have like multiple personalities, and the mul- yes. <laughs> in the mommy wines podcast is one of them. And yeah, my my business job, you know. Yeah. For the time being, is paying my bills. Right. We'll see how long. I'm pretty pissed at my boss because he's a fucking liar damn it i know but you know it's corporate america yeah which i didn't think that a credit union would be corporate america oh, but of course it is big banks own little banks oh yeah i left a big bank thinking i was like oh i'm gonna be more in touch with the people and i'm gonna have this whatever it's just gonna not be so shitty but no it's all the same yeah it's all i should have just stayed where i was it's all the same except for now i don't have to look at the cult palace outside my freaking office window (laughs) every day cult palace (laughs) speaking of cult i kanye was here yesterday what kanye west with his uh, kim kardashian's husband yes doing here he had his sunday service for what so he have you seen his sunday service no i love it because it's like nostalgic for me the gospel end of things um but yeah he has this choir that he travels with and they do these like few hour free performances of just like gospel like singing Mm -hmm. oh nice yeah so he showed up yesterday at the gateway the one saturday i've worked in like six months Mm. so i couldn't go but we have a children's museum down there. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. It is fun. Um, but yeah, it, but it was also general conference. I I did notice that. And but somebody there told were me about it. Thousands upon thousands of people who went to see Kanye, and I was like, how many of you were supposed to be at general conference? But well, don't they out don't they Kanye. watch it at home? Like, isn't it well, like streamed on TV? But oh. Yes, but either way, they were watching Kanye and not the conference. So I. I was just curious. So I put a poll up actually on my Instagram. I forgot to check. Oh, I gotta go vote for that. I'll vote for your polls all day. Yeah. <laughs> so I was curious. I was like, how many of you? <laughs> yeah, 75% were at Kanye. 25% were still at General Conference so far. So I just thought that was interesting. But sorry, go on. I didn't, I didn't know either one of them. Yeah. Well, okay. So somebody told me they're like, oh, because I always, um, you know, like, we're office people. You know, we have yeah. the water cooler chit chats. <laughs> and they're like, oh, what are your plans for the weekend? And I'm like... They're filling you out. Nothing. They're trying to see if It's my birthday and I'm not doing anything. human being? Well, it, luckily, <laughs> for the time being, all of the people in my little cubicle space are normal. I don't know about outside of that little bubble, but okay. we're, all, we're all norms. You know, okay. we're just regular folks. <laughs> and they're like, oh, what are your plans for the weekend? And I think they're just asking because they get to my birthday and whatever. Yeah. And I was like, nothing. And then this guy who sits with me, the only guy, like, seriously, on this whole entire floor. I feel so bad for him. Um, he was like, oh, well, you know, you don't have to wait until Sunday to run your errands this weekend. And he was, like, all excited. He's like, I, I'm like, well, I'm going to do this on Saturday, and then I'm going to run my errands like I normally do on a Sunday, because the town is dead. Yes. It's a ghost town on Sundays around yes. here. 
So I run all of my errands. It's when I do my shopping. Mm-hmm. If I want to go out and do anything, I do the it on a Sunday. It's yours on a Sunday. Oh, it's like, I feel like Kim Kardashian. Like, they <laughs> shut it down <laughs> for me. Like, I feel so special. <laughs> dead and there's no traffic it's beautiful and he's like oh you don't have to wait until sunday to do your errands he's like you could go the whole weekend because everyone's going to be at home watching five and a half hours of church on their tv and i'm like well that's fascinating thank you for letting me know that yeah um and then that's when i kind of got curious and i was like okay general conference sure Mm -hmm. sure Mm -hmm. do you do you and i'll Live my best life on a Saturday for once. Yes. Honestly. Yeah. It was nice. So give me a little background on Salt Wax Society. There's multiple locations in Utah. Yes. Yes. So right now we've got three, but stay tuned because we're about to blow. Um, Ooh. Yes. I can't say too much, but growing like a weed. Um, But yeah, so right now we've got a location downtown. That's where you can find me most of the time. Uh, we've got a location on holiday. I'm there on Wednesdays. <laughs> and then we have one in St. George, and I am not going to drive down there. Mm-mm. No. <laughs> That's four hours away, for those who don't know. Um, it's in southern Utah. Yeah, so southern if you're Utah. Beautiful. And the manager there, Avery, is a phenomenon. She's amazing. Um, but yes, so we've got three locations. Uh, we're locally owned. Um, it's just like three cute little owners who were like friends and they were like, Hey, let's do this. <laughs> and, and weren't you telling me that none of the owners have like a beauty background? Yeah, None of them do. They're all just like business, like money people, you know, like they know how to like flip stacks if you nice. will. Nice. Racks on racks. So, um, <laughs> that's kind of where I come in as like the beauty industry key, I guess. And it makes me feel like I'm more important <laughs> than I am. But I run with it. <laughs> nice. Yeah. So w- what is your place? So are you just the manager, district manager? So right now, my title them? as it stands, yes, advisor. Um, I am general manager. So like the managers of the three locations like report to me. And then I work directly with the COO, David, Um in like our plans for like training, expansion, um, product lines, all those things. So fun, yeah. yeah, yeah. And then you, okay. So yesterday, I decided to treat myself. Mm-hmm. Well, okay. So I woke up with a migraine. I had to reschedule all of my recordings for yesterday. Perfect. Never done that, but it was awful. So I decided to go get a massage. Okay. Yeah, I'm still a little sore, but I went and got a <laughs> massage, and they had memberships. And I've been noticing that you can save so much money with all of these things around town with a membership. Yes. So, you got to tell me about the differences between walking and off the street, because I noticed mm-hmm. at my massage place yesterday, it was a big difference if you just yeah. walked off the street or if you got a membership. Yeah. So... Tell me about Salt Wax Society's memberships. Okay, so we have got <clears throat> quite a few memberships. But I say, so our most popular services are Brazilians and Brows. And we are so good at Brows. Like, I don't know. I can't say enough good things about our Brows. But, um, that's neither here nor there. So, <laughs> a Brazilian wax, let's say, is $58. Um... We do have a promo for first-time clients. So if you walk in off the street, you still get $39 Brazilian wax if you're new to us. So mm. first-time clients, $39. Do it. Tell your friends. Um, so $58, which is pretty average locally. Um, <clears throat> but if you join our membership, then it locks in that $39 a month. So you're just paying $39. That covers your Brazilian for the month. You also get 10% off any other product and services. You get one free area every month and one half off area every month. And they kind of rotate. So like this month I think is like half off legs and like free upper lip, if Mm. you remember. So for like 39 bucks. You get perks. Yeah. And you also get like a free blowout at Blow Blow Dry Bar. So it's, it's a killer deal. But yeah. So is that separate? You guys are just connected? The blow dry bar? We just love each other. Yeah. So you're just much. like friends. Mm-hmm. You commingle. Yes. Cute. Yep, yep. Cute stuff. Yeah. 
I love getting my hair done. Yeah. I never did, but I found this woman, and she just had the cutest baby boy. I'm in love with her. Precious. Um, but yeah, I like getting my hair done. There's now. something about someone else like washing your scalp for you. Yes. That's... When I first made my first appointment with her, I called her and I was like, "Okay, so what all does this include? Does it include like the washy thing yeah, that you do you, with your magical you little, like salon person hands?" Yeah. And she's like, "Yes, yes, it does." <laughs> it's not, like I can't do that to myself, you know. And I don't know how she does it and doesn't get stuff all on her nails, but she has nails and they're long and they're kind of pointy like yours. Yeah. But she like, she dyes hair and everything. And I'm like, how do your nails still stay the same color? Like, it doesn't make any sense. It's magic. I swear. Beauty people <laughs> are witches. And <laughs> and it, she just like does, oh, it's so nice. It's like, I just want to fall asleep and they have this cool yeah. sink, but like, it's not like the crappy sinks that hurt your neck. It's like cozy. And she right? puts like a towel down. Yes. Oh, it's so good. I yeah. go back to see her on the second. I want to like teach my kids how to do that. Make them wash my hair daily. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me about your kids. How well, I've got 1,000 of them. 1,000? Yes. Exactly? Exactly. <laughs> um, no, I've got uh, three kids. My oldest is eight, Malachi. He is... Oh, that's a cute name. A saint. He would die for me. It's just beautiful. Um, and then I've got a seven-year-old girl, and she is a leader. Aww. And she might lead the mob. Oh. Or. <laughs> the country. The country, <laughs> yes. Um, is she going to be our next president? I mean, low-key, like, she could be, honestly. It's just a matter of just trying to, like, hone those leadership skills, you know, from, like, dictator to, like... <laughs> mold her into using yes, them for mold good her. and not evil. Yes, because she's so smart and she's, like, gorgeous. I mean, she's seven. And I'm her mom. But she's... You know what I mean? Like, she's just... She's she's amazing. Um, and then I've got a two-year-old. Um, yeah, so after I got divorced, I met this great guy, Cisco. And, um, oh my gosh, is it the judge on The Voice? Or, yes. No. I don't know. I don't know. The what Voice that is. or whatever it is, or America's Got Talent, or American <laughs> um, he's Idol, not whatever. A celebrity he is. yet? No. Um, but yeah, I missed a few days of birth control, and I'm not good at pills, you know. Um, and so now we've got a two-year-old, and she is a freaking blast, man. Like, I forgot how fun toddlers could be. You've got a toddler, you know. I do. He so is fun. either the cutest, adorable, loving, amazing person ever, or he is a terrorist. Well, yeah. That's that's toddler life. You, you know, know, it's just a flip of a coin. Yeah. You never know what you're going to get. Yeah. Keeps me on my toes. Absolutely. Yes. They can't be left alone at all. <laughs> I've, I've realized that. My daughter, because she just turned to end of August... And terrible twos are, like, full force. But she doesn't have, like, she's not, like, mean. She's not, like, a cranky two-year-old. But her terrible twos are, like, I'm going to stick my hands in the toilet. <laughs> or, like. Milo put a entire roll of toilet paper in the toilet the other day. Well, at least that eventually breaks down. My daughter stuck our towel rack in there. Oh. Also, like, some, like, wash rags. <laughs> and then she's, like, mixing it all up like a cauldron with, like, a toilet brush. And I was, like. It's been 30 seconds. Like <laughs> she's she's making a brew. Yeah, and then I Getting came upstairs. in the Halloween spirit. <laughs> right. I came upstairs and she got the potatoes out and all the bowls and just filled up bowls with potatoes and like placed them around like the upstairs and I was like <laughs> okay. Yeah, like I don't even know. I'm like what game was this? Like what? I don't know. So, Kids yeah. are weird, man. So weird. Or like how, like my eight-year-old hates showering, hates it. Oh, Milo hates it. But I'm like... Sometimes. But you need to. <laughs> Look at you that know? face. Like there's oh. like a thing about you. <laughs> Milo either fights, like dirty, fights it, or he is jumping in, having the time of his life. Yeah. 
And I really don't know what is going to happen until it's 8 o'clock. Hope you don't piss off the master. (laughs) Hope he's in a good mood today. Oh, he runs this house. (laughs) Runs shit so hard. Oh, my God. I love it. It's crazy. We got to get them together, your two-year-old and Milo. Because he needs friends. They might duke it out. Probably. They might be best friends. You never know. We'll just hope. Pray to the baby gods. (laughs) (laughs) Decent moods and open to new friends. <laughs> I know. Setting up play dates with toddlers. You, you never know what you're yeah. going to get. Everything. You really don't. Because they might just... Like, sometimes my daughter gets so shy. And she'll just, like, sit... Like, even with, like, her like little baby cousin. She'll just, like, sit in my lap and just, like... Sir. Hmm. Yeah. And I'm like, she's cool. <laughs> What's your cousin? Like... <laughs> you gotta go, be friends. Don't stay with her. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. So, let's go ahead and get into confessions. <laughs> okay. This is one of my favorite parts of the entire <laughs> show. Um, my confession is probably <clears throat> my worst nightmare came to fruition the other day. And I was like, I've got like a good 10 minutes before my next guest is going to be here. Have you tried coffee over cardio yet? If not, I don't think we can be friends. No, I'm just kidding. But seriously, if you haven't tried it, I don't know what you're waiting for. I have been seeing reviews blowing up all over my social media feed. Roasted to order, for females, by females, 100% Arabica coffee. Win, win, win. Not only will you find the most adorable packages of coffee when you click the link below, but they have tumblers ideal for girls on the go, Espresso Fit member-only exclusive workouts that you can do from anywhere, and a cozy clothing line ideal for a basic bee like me. With fresh roasted flavors like messy bun and birthday cake, this is a coffee lover's dream come true. Go ahead and click the link to check out Coffee Over Cardio today. And don't forget to use coupon code 10 Emma Dawn. And I'm just going to go do my thing because I had like three more hours of work and I'm like not worth holding it, picking up the kids, hoping I make it home. Just going to bust it out. Yeah. So I was like, it's quiet in the salon. Like my employees are all busy doing their thing. So I was like, let's do this. Also, life hack, if you do poop at work, just pretend you're cleaning the bathroom afterwards and, like, use all the bleach. Mm. And then be like, I wasn't in there for 10 minutes because I was pooping. I was cleaning. Right. Um, anyways. A little so, helpful tip for all yes. of you listeners out there. Write that down. It works every time. <laughs> um, so I was doing my best work and then a knock on the bathroom door. Like, I feel like people should just assume if the door is shut, like, someone's in there. Don't knock. Yeah. Because if you knock, then it's going to give people like me stage fright and I'll just be in there longer. (laughs) Yeah. So anyways, I finished up what I was doing and I didn't think that I had time to like do my whole bleaching clean thing because she already knew I was in there. Yeah. Gotta hurry up. Maybe she'll just think the poo smell was from someone before me. (laughs) Like, the smell was in here when I got here, okay? It's not mine. (laughs) It's not me. (laughs) But anyways, yeah, so I got out, and I was like, oh, sorry, (laughs) nonchalant, let her in there to use the bathroom, get up to the front desk, it's my client. Mm. Early. Of course. Which is normally appreciated, but in this situation, I was pissed. Yeah, so I had to sit there and, like, wax her eyebrows, like, I didn't know that she knew that I knew that she knew that I had just pooped. (laughs) <laughs> I love a good poop confession. Yeah. So I don't know that I'll ever get over it. Oh, <laughs> Do you think about it every single time she comes in now? Um. So she hasn't come back in. This was just recently and they normally come monthly. Oh. So mm-hmm. yes. So I'm just hoping that I can just win her over with my witty personality. Well, you got it. So <laughs> if it, she doesn't get won over, then she's, she's done. <laughs> You suck, Carol. (laughs) Suck. Who shows up early (laughs) and interrupts a poo? Rude. (laughs) The worst. (laughs) 
But she did sign up for the membership, so hell yeah. Okay. You go, Carol. Right. You go. <laughs> so my confession, and this is going to probably be awful, is so I was getting some stuff cleaned out. You know, it's fall time now. We don't need all of our summer things. Mm-hmm. So I was packing away my swimsuits. And I looked down, and I'm like, what is this tag doing? And it's laundry instructions. So I'm like, okay, this is weird. Does anyone follow those? Well, I didn't know you were supposed to wash bathing suits. What? Wait, what? I've never washed a bathing suit ever. Hmm. So I'm looking, and I'm like, huh. So I get all of my bathing suits out. And I decided to put them in the washing machine. <laughs> For the first time. For the in first time. 30 <laughs> long years. I thought, I was like, okay, well, it's not like I'm doing crazy things in them. They're in chlorine water. Unless you're at a lake. Well, or the ocean. Or the sprinklers. Anything that's in or around your butt should be washed. Yeah. Well, I realize that now, now okay. that I'm 30 years old and That's have fine. for the first she time washed stinky my... suits. <laughs> 30 years. My son <laughs> had me in the swimming pool every single day this summer. Okay, but I every single day. To be fair, I kind of get like the chlorine thing. So that kills everything. <laughs> yeah. And I'm looking and I'm like so weird cuz I've never noticed that there was a tag before. And I'm looking at it and I'm like, "Huh. Washing instructions." That's weird. (laughs) Who washes these? Who washes their swimsuits? Well, me now, because (laughs) I've gone 30 years without ever washing a swimsuit in my life. Now I'm curious. You can't be the only one. I want... Okay. I'm going to put a poll. I'm going to edit this podcast and put it up this week. Okay. So I'm going to put a poll on my Instagram. Do you wash your swimsuits, yes or no? Because if I was at the beach or if I was laying out on the sand, I would rinse them to get, like, sand out of them. But Hmm. I've never laundered them Hmm. until the other week. Half of me is, like, immediately judging you. But then the other (laughs) half, like, the logical side is, like, come on, Jenna. (laughs) You pooped. (laughs) Stop that. (laughs) Delete, delete. (laughs) Um, I just like yeah. I never thought about it. I ju- I've always just like come home, taken them off, thrown them mm, over the shower to curtain dry. to dry, and then that was it. I've never laundered with like so s- like okay so in let's a washing say machine. It's the last swim of the season. You hang it up to dry in your shower, and then once it's dry, you just put it in. With clean clothes? Well, I have like a little drawer that has like swimsuits and stuff in my closet. I just put it away. You and... should petri dish that drawer. <laughs> just see. See what's, it, what's going on? <laughs> well, they're all clean now. <laughs> so I finally How interesting. put them in the washer. But maybe I'm on the other end of the extreme because I grew up with a mom who had literal OCD. Did she just, like, launder everything? Everything. Like, we would wipe our dog's feet with Lysol before she could, like, if we let her out to poop, come back in, wipe her feet. Like, with my mom Lysol. has... Lysol? Like, the Clorox wipes? Yes. Or, like, Lysol in water, like, in a bucket. Wipe feet. That poor little puppy. What if he had, yeah. like, a little cut? Sucks to suck. That cut's <laughs> gonna have no germs. <laughs> Okay, and that's what matters. Or like, like my mom will not set foot in like a village inn or a Denny's. She's like, they're the germ capitals of the world. So maybe my over laundering of swimwear can be brought back to my mother who taught mm. me to over launder. It's always the mother's fault, huh? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. God bless her. She's amazing. But yeah, <laughs> like I really, I didn't realize, you know, like until you're like, like early 20s like how weird your childhood was compared to like the next person so I'm like what do you mean your mother didn't make you undress in the garage and carry you (laughs) to the shower when you got home from lagoon we weren't all doing this (laughs) no (laughs) oh god but yeah yeah now I'm curious so I can't wait for that poll (laughs) yeah I'm excited because I hope to god that I'm not the only one I just I don't know I never thought about it 
One thing I am going to launder today, though, is the covers on my sofa. Because if you go downstairs and you look at it, it has kid shit. Not literal shit. Mm. Just like <laughs> juice boxes. Right, yes. Spills. They're grubby little hands. I'm like, why are you so oily always? Part of it's sticky. Mm-hmm. I don't know. It, yeah. it needs to be laundered. With that, don't dry them, though. No? No, because they'll shrink and you can't get them back on. Oh. I've made this mistake. And I then normally you have to put stuff it on like the, in. The, the tumble, the low. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, be- yeah, that's fine. Like air dry yeah. almost. Yeah, that's better. But yeah, I'm glad that you do that because there's people who just let their couches be nasty. I just had, Those people are nasty. I just had someone, granted, I had like family coming into town. So that was like, it was like expedited. But someone just came and like, like Steve cleaned my couches. And I was like, this is like. The epitome of adulthood. Mm. It's like couches have been steam cleaned. That's nice. I've made it. Yeah, I've made you it. <laughs> I'm now grown Two up. Two weeks later, they're disgusting again. Of course. No one's coming over until like Christmas, so we're all right. There you go. <laughs> so is there a coupon code or anything for salt wax? No. I'm going to give you one. Yeah. Let's do it. You want to do like... Code word, mommy wines. Yeah. For like 50% off. There you go. A Brazilian wax. Perfect. Because y'all need to try it. Just try it. And if you're local, come to the genitalia wizard of Salt Lake. Genitalia? (laughs) Oh my gosh. I like it. I might change my legal name. (laughs) Genitalia. <laughs> yes. Oh, Loving I'm this. Into it. They used to call me Vagena in high school. Vagena? Vagena. Yeah, but gen- genitalia is better. Oh, yeah. Far more clever. Yeah. So mommy wines. I'll get that in, I'll get that in the system before Perfect. you put that up. So off. where uh, can they find Salt Wax Society on social media? At Salt Wax Society. On everything. All the things. Facebook, yes. Instagram. Facebook, the gram. We're even on Twitter. Don't follow us yet. We're not doing much on there. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like only like A-list celebrities do Twitter. Yeah. You have to be somebody right. to even bother yeah. with Twitter. I don't bother with Twitter. I get confused. I'm all about I feel the gram. Like, like my mother or like my parents when like smartphones came out. When it comes to Twitter. Mm. Like, I'm, like my boyfriend, Twitter is like his jam. He loves it. He gets all the memes like first. But I oh, get yeah, on Twitter. They, they're and on I'm Twitter like, first before I'm they go lost. to Instagram. Yeah. And I don't get like the way like the threads are set up and the retweeting. Right. Like I'll try to respond to my boyfriend who will like tweet me in something. Then I'm responding to like Kylie Jenner instead. And I'm like, wait. <laughs> <laughs> What's happening? Yeah. <laughs> it's just so confusing. Oh, God. Yeah. Twitter is a, a black hole. Yeah. Um, but saltwaxsociety.com is where you can schedule your appointments. There you go. And you'll book just like the regular Brazilian. So I'll, I'll put the 50% off for like the full price Brazilian. So you're paying 29 instead of 58. Ooh. Yeah. Yeet. Um, so yeah, then you can apply the code mommy wines or when you get in store, if internet is hard for you, just tell us <laughs> and we'll take care of it. But yeah, everyone's amazing. I recommend everybody. You heard it here. Yeah. Hooked you guys up for all of my local <laughs> listeners, which I don't know how many there are, but... If Billions. You, if you are local, go yeah. wax that shit. Holiday, downtown, St. George. Even St. George. Even St. George. And St. George is on the border. You could even be in Arizona and yes, go to St. George, right? Through. Yeah. Make a little trip. Absolutely. There's all kinds of rocks people like to look at down and there. And they're red. And red rocks, yeah. Mm-hmm. Look at them. This time of year Get is really waxed. nice because you're not going to die of heat oh, exhaustion. Heat. Or tourists. Yeah, you won't die of tourists. There you go. Well, thanks for coming on the show today. Thank you for having me. It was so much fun. It was. <laughs> and you guys, uh, keep a lookout for the new podcast. I swear it's going to happen. I'm going to make. Happen. I'm making it happen for you. Drop <laughs> your pants for Jenna. <laughs> Look out it. for it. Yes, I'm excited. Stay tuned, folks. Stay tuned. <laughs> 
If you enjoyed this episode and want to listen to more podcasts brought to you by the Mommy Wines Network, go check out themommywines.com and make sure to subscribe to our email newsletter. More projects are coming soon, and by subscribing, you'll be the first to know when they are released. Did you know that we have a Facebook group? Head over to Facebook and join for fun contests, giveaways, special deals, events, and more. A special thanks to our sponsors, Coffee Over Cardio and Anchor. And don't forget to leave a rating and review wherever you listen to your favorite podcasts. Until next Wine Wednesday, mamas, parent and drink responsibly.